Okay, this is a video about uh, uh, the camera system app, uh, DMSS. And this app is used um, with both NVRs, DVRs, and individual cameras. Um, to add a device or a DVR, we want to go into the upper right hand corner and we want to enter a serial number. Um, this screen is used for scanning um, QR codes. If we have a monitor attached to the DVR, then we can scan a QR code. And, um, in most cases, we'll just be entering our information manually. So we want to click enter manually. Uh, we want to enter uh, a, a device serial number, which is a device ID. And uh, this could be anywhere from 15 to 20 uh, digits. So let me start by entering a test uh, system here. This will vary um, uh, depending on what property you have. Um, I would be providing you all that information. And let me just get through this real quick. Uh, next screen will ask us what type of device we're adding. As you can see, there's a lot of options. Uh, in most cases, we'll use a DVR or an NVR. Uh, in this case, um, uh, unless it's noted, it will be a DVR. So uh, NVRs are used for um, higher resolution cameras, uh, anywhere from 5 megapixel on up to 8 megapixel. Uh, but for most cases, we'll use a DVR. Um, in this case, um, I'm just going to name it uh, test. And I'll put in a uh, password. And I'm going to save that. And I actually, I've already added this um, device. So... Under live view, uh, my cameras will automatically come up. You can double tap on any camera. This is just a, uh, a, a home that we've done. And uh, you can double tap and uh, bring up all your cameras at once. This is one of the better um, apps that I've seen because the uh, pictures come up right away. So if you have multiple um, properties, then it would be listed under this menu here. And um, um, we can go back to our home. And our other option here would be to, to use our playback feature. And in this case, we would click on a one of the four squares and we would pick a camera to play back. In this case, I'm just playing back a, uh, uh, a camera number one. And this down here becomes your timeline. So is your mil military time, zero hours to 24 hours. Let's say I wanna go back and look at a different day and I can click on the calendar and I can go back to a previous day and uh, hit okay. And now we have a full day that we can look, go back and look at. So, it's really, really straightforward. Um, if you want to make a copy of a short video, then you can use the uh, scissors. We'll clip a uh, video and we begin clipping, we hit play. And we wanna stop uh, recording. As you can see, the time here is moving. So you hit stop and it says, are you sure you want to download clip video? You said, okay. And this will be saved. Um, this will be saved under your local files. So there's our saved video. Okay, so now it's playing. Um, we can go back and we can select it. And then uh, down here, we can share it. 
So you were able to send that to, oops, sorry, there's a uh, check mark and we can share it. Um, oops, we can share it via um, email or messenger or uh, whatever way you would like to share that. The um, You can share multiple videos or you can, obviously down here, you have option to delete the video. And um, you can go back to our live view and it goes back to your last property that you were looking at. Um, sometimes this um, HD will be on SD quality. SD quality, uh, pictures come up a lot faster. Uh, HD uh, makes the uh, picture a lot sharper. This is at night. This is a standard uh, uh, camera that we use. This is a 1080p camera. So it is HD, full HD, uh, but some properties are requesting even higher resolution cameras. So it's very important to have that um, uh, HD button selected. Uh, you can double tap, it goes back to four screen and then you can uh, select nine or 16 or however many your property has. So um, hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, you can uh, email me uh, with any other questions. Oh, real quick, there is a um, help tool down here under me and uh, it tells you everything about how to do the playback and uh, live view pretty much everything that we looked at um, how to access your files and your live uh, preview uh, it goes more into detail some of these things do not apply but it's just nice to have it all on there and that is under the uh, me uh, section uh, you can hit the home if you get into any menus, hit the home button. It takes you back to the main screen. Again, plus serial number. Enter your serial number manually. And um, just go through the uh, uh, screens. Uh, most of the time we will be using a DVR. Um, if for whatever reason um, it takes you to any other screen, I've seen... Um, I've seen screens that ask you to uh, connect to the same Wi-Fi as your DVR system. That just means that you, uh, the the app is trying to search for your system because you did not enter the serial number correctly. Uh, there are no um, O's um, on here, so as you can see up here, there's a lot of zeros. So just make sure uh, you don't uh, confuse your zeros with your O's or vice versa, um, and uh, that should do it. So again, uh, the app is DMSS. Uh, the pre prior app, which still works, is IDMSS Plus. Um, if you download that one, um, then it'll automatically update you to the uh, new version of it, which is DMSS. I would suggest just go ahead and input all your information on here. If you put your information on the old app, you'll have to do it again and put it into the DMSS app. Again, this is um, this this app has been out maybe three days, um, and that's that was the reason for the delay in making this app uh, video, uh, just because I knew it uh, we'd have to do it again. So um, there are other features coming. Uh, that includes uh, door openers. Uh, you'll be able to open doors if uh, we end up doing that and having access control. Uh, there is an alarm feature as well for uh, other uh, alarm systems. But uh, uh, let me know what you think. Thank you.